seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So are you listening? Ricky J. Sports. What is going on, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to the Hoist Gracie Challenge. And this challenge is not what you think. you got to KO your opponent using Hoist Gracie in an online rank match. And this is live. I'm Hoist Gracie. And remember, Hoist is known for his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He is a student under his late father, Helio Gracie. And we're facing Nate Diaz, who's a student under Caesar Gracie. So what would Nate say? Yo, what's up, Ricky? I want to say, you know, thank you for letting me get some airtime. You know what I'm saying? I'm facing a, a legend, you know. <clears throat> I would want to face him, man, you know, but I'm forced to in this game because people are out of the controls, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to show this guy, man, that I don't care who it is. If it's Gracie, Hoist Gracie, or, you know, I don't care if it's a Hulk Hogan, you know what I'm saying? I'm coming out to take him out. I'm coming out to show my worth, you know what I'm saying? That's what I do. And if he beats me, you know, it's whatever. It's to be killed or killed. I don't know the thing. And just for the record, you know. <clears throat> Conor McGregor, I can count to five, you know what I'm saying? One, two, three, four, and guess what's next? Five. I'm out here. Peace, Ricky J. All right, that was Nate, baby. So, anyhow, let me focus right here because <laughs> I'm trying to talk and play at the same time, do imitations, impersonations, but we are Hoist Gracie, and I'm trying to KO Nate, and the one thing I need to do is volume, but I got to manage my stamina. Because I actually tried this a while back and I wasn't recording. I was just using Hoist Gracie for fun. And I'm telling you, it is tough to knock somebody out using Hoist. His stand-up isn't great, especially when you're facing someone like Nate Diaz in this situation that has really good boxing. So I am just trying to touch him, but I also want to connect when this guy's stamina is going down. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be throwing some crazy bombs hoist doesn't really have a lot of bombs in his arsenal he's got like the hook the uppercut but i just want to touch him with straights and i don't want to kick too much but i don't mind using my kicks to help you know disguise my punches but it's gonna be tough man i for the record if you guys are new to my challenges i only try it basically i only try it once and if I do it, I, great. If not, then I just air it up, man. I just put it on no matter what. Because the sense of fear when I'm doing these challenges and for people watching, I feel makes it fun. So if I fail miserably, you know, and it's happened too, then so be it. I think it was the no block challenge where I failed, man. But I gave it a fight, man. I think, was I using, I was using Big Country, man. That was the, the that was the birth of the belly tickling. When, I, when people punch you to the body or when you punch people to the body. But right now I'm getting like beat up here. <laughs> I think it's too much talking, man. It's like talking on the phone and driving. It's just tough to do. So again, for this challenge, I got to KO my opponent using hoist. Go for a nice little KO. And as it stands now, I'm scared that this may go to a decision, man. Because my opponent is very, very calculated with his punches. He's not going for wild strikes. And I'm on my bicycle, man. Yeah, look at that little... T I tickled his knee. Did you see that? I tickled his knee, baby. Oh, man. And my opponent is a good striker. I don't know, man. I don't know if I could get this done. But... Okay, I really i am going to bear down and focus, man. Yo, what's up, man? This is Nate. Focusing is all for the week, you know what I'm saying? Focusing should become natural. You know, that's what I do when I'm at Stockton, baby. I just want to let everybody know, you know what I'm saying? For Christmas, my brother and I, we got sweet chili heat chips from the variety store, and we were hanging out. Anyway, over and out. Let's fight. <laughs> okay, I'm concentrating now. No, no more impersonations. All right. So this guy, I'm noticing, look at him, he's just planting his feet in the center of the octagon. Just like how Cody did, remember that? Oh, but I rocked him, what? What? And he's backing up. Wow, turn of events. See, he's trying to parry, and when you miss a parry, I think it does double damage. Let me know in the comment section below. I gotta keep on, oh. see, I gotta keep on touching his head. Keep it red, man. Keep it red. But I don't want to go head hunting. No, oh, and he's doing a good job. This opponent's good, man. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna panic. No panic button yet. There we go, baby. 
I'm gonna push. This is it. I gotta push this guy, man. Oh, he went for a takedown. None of that, man. None of that. Oh, no way. Oh, he's hurt. Keep on touching. Oh, down it goes. Laser beam action. Is it? It's over. It is over. The Hoist Gracie challenge complete. I'm telling you, it's tough to do. And I didn't think I had a chance, especially after that first round. But you know what? I had to start focusing, had to stop with the invitations and start focusing on my game, on my fight game and pick my spots. And I think that's what I did. I love that little uppercut. I wasn't using that in the first round. You know what? That's good, man. I was going to say, it's like a starting pitcher. You know, when the pitcher starts, I hate, I'm, I hate that I'm using a baseball ref reference when it's not baseball. But when a pitcher starts going through the, the roster in the beginning, he shouldn't show all of his pitches, and that's what Hoist did. He didn't show his uppercut in the first round, and then in the second round, in the second time around the order, he showed that uppercut, and he threw a curveball into the game of Nate Diaz. Yeah, baby. So anyhow, try the Hoist Gracie Challenge. KO your opponent using Hoist, and I'm telling you, let me know. Let me know if it's if it's easy for you or it's tough, but I'm telling you, it's a tough challenge. So anyhow, people, thank you so much for the guys that sent out this request you are the best all right baby this is ricky j baby from ricky j sports and you are awesome